Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of this podcast, A New Direction. And as usual, we have another intriguing issue up for discussion today. We'll be talking about obedience in today's episode. And as usual, we always say that there's a concept that relates to every issue we raise on this platform as it relates to the concept of God as against the ideas that we as men, we have. So, obedience is no different because, as we always say, what man knows are the things of man, save the spirit of man that is in him. And the same way the things of God knoweth no man except God himself. So, it's on that basis we'll be looking at what we have for you today. But as usual, we can't get into any discussion without... um, Introducing those I have with me on the forum. Today we have um, familiar faces, Brother Kufre. Good morning to you all. We have Brother Camillus. Good morning. We also have um, Brother Savior. Good morning to you all. And Sister Yusi. Good morning to you. I myself am Brother David. We also have a video which we'll be playing, or actually we'll be analyzing the video. Because that's what's going to form the basis of our discussion. Because we are trying to clear the misconception we have on the issue of obedience. So we'll hit play on the video briefly, then we get into what we have. Now, when we talk about obedience, don't be in a hurry to think you know what I mean. Because some time ago, I woke up. In the morning, I saw how I, I did personal Bible study for my own personal edification, and I wanted to study some salient um, issues so that I can make adjustments. And I found I could not escape obedience. So I now made it a prayer. I'll go to God in the morning and I say, Do you know what? I want to obey you today. That's the day that I'm going to move in the flesh more than any other day. Insult someone in a strange way. I know you are, you are up there. You are not like me, you know. So I noticed that when I started becoming deliberate about obeying God, there was so much ability to operate in the flesh. So I knew that it was a battle. So I would come back in the evening, apologize to God. You know, I tried, but I messed up. Can you have mercy on me? Tomorrow morning, I will pray again. I want to obey you. Then I step out, and a similar thing happened. And then after about three months, consistently, I noticed I started having some form of harmony. I started having some form of, yes, when I come back, I'm excited. And I go back to God. It is something that must be cultivated deliberately. That was how Jesus lived. You say you want to preach the gospel, the authority of your teaching ministry will be predicated on your life of obedience. There will be no authority. God will not back what you are teaching up. If your rank in obedience is not high. Meanwhile, meanwhile, there will be a problem with your hearing God if you are not obedient to God, because the last time you heard God clearly was the last time you obeyed him. And so Dr. Luke gave us an executive summary. He said Jesus began to do first before he began to teach. Hallelujah. It means that naturally some subjects I don't even have authority to teach because I'm not doing yet. My teaching should be a reflection of what has been established, what the Holy Ghost has constituted in my life. And I'm walking freely in those areas by reason of the grace that God has bequeathed to me to function that way. There are many things I will not teach, even though I've studied them in the Bible and I know them. I'm still in the process of incubating the protocol that will give me access to the grace that makes it work. Preaching is not talking. It's not a lecture. If, if, if your objective is the release of life, 
the release of the spirit so that God can begin a construction in the life of the people that you are ministering to, then your life of obedience is critical to the achievement of that objective. The first issue that is raised here is the issue of a life of obedience. Okay, hit pause. Yeah, I would like us to, I would like us to look at the first video that I, I was played before we go into the, the uh, subsequent one. We are dealing on obedience, but I think before we look at what has been said by the man in the video, that we let everyone watching to understand what obedience is from our own perspective what we have come to realize and what we have come to know obedience to be so that way any note we are making from the video that has just been played will be fully understood by our viewers so what's obedience that's the focus of our discussion what is obedience as usual, we always say that there is what we understand or what we know as men, as obedience. Yes. If it's not obedience, any issue we are talking about as men, there's what we know about those things. Yes. So obedience as men, we know it as um, doing what you're told. The dictionary definition is um, the act of obeying. Is being uh, being dutiful with respect to another person or behavior intended to to please another person. So basically, obedience, as we know, as as men, is doing what you're told to do. Yeah. And if you listen to what had been said in the video, you will see that he's. His um, line of obedience follows that same school of thought. Yes. That obedience is basically doing what you have been told to do. But in this case, you are saying that obedience isn't necessarily doing what you are told to do. And it sounds strange if somebody hears something like that from you, that obedience isn't necessarily doing what you have been told to do. That's because it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound, um, humanly. yeah, it, it, it doesn't make sense, but obedience is actually waiting to be told what to do. Yes. That's what obedience means in, in as, as simple as that's the most simple way you can put it. That obedience is waiting to be told what to do and you can do it and, and, and also doing as you are told because. We'll if, get to if, that. If we take it one side, somebody no, well, listening. No, we'll get we'll get to that because so, you say it's, yeah, un necessary. it's not necessarily. That's what that, that's why I use that word. It's not necessarily because there are aspects when we when when we dive deeply into what we are talking about now that you still see that at some point you will get to do what you are told to do. But the basic form of obedience is waiting to be told what to do. Because if you don't wait to be told what to do. And you go ahead doing something, thinking you know what to do. You end up doing the wrong thing most of the time. So basically, you have to wait to be told what to do. You can tie it to instances we have in our world today. Like, I might feel that I know what but I Savior requires of me. Like, let's say we stay in the same room, but the room is somehow divided. So we both have our own sides and our things are kept based on how we like them mm -hmm. and for instance i don't like the way but our savior stuffs are kept in the room but for him it's organized in the way that he's 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 he's, he's familiar with where everything is yes. then he leaves and i look at it and I'm like this room is a mess and i go around trying to arrange to it. arrange it and you can come in and you might look at it and it's like wow the room is 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 is, well is, kept. is tidy is well kept but what i savior can come in and, and he's like uh -uh, you have just messed up my whole stuff. Well, you're like, no, I, 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 I try to make everything look okay. Mm -hmm. And he might end up asking you, who sent you? Yeah. 
Did I ask you? Did I ask you to do that? That's 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 the 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 main the that's the main anchor of what obedience stands for. Waiting to be told what to do because now I felt like what I did was what was was was, 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 was right. yeah the right thing to do. Yes. And now the person who I intended to please, following the dictionary definition, now yes. the person I intended to please by that act comes in and is wondering. I didn't ask you to do this. Who sent you to do this? Yes. Now, the person is not pleased because I didn't wait to be told what to do by that person who I intended to please. Yes. So that's where we are looking at obedience firstly from because we are talking about obedience to God, yes. which is that's the pinnacle of anything obedience. Yes. Obedience to, to God. God. So now, from the video, he's talking about how he tries to practice obedience. Mm -hmm. And his practice of obedience is to do what God wants, mm -hmm. which is what each and every one of us knows obedience to be, to yes. do what, what would please God. Would please God. Yeah. But the question now is, following this line now that we have introduced, how do you get to know what will please God? What will please God? When God is not there, is it by reading the Bible to know? So now let's even agree that obedience is doing what you are told to do. Yes. Following that line, that obedience is now doing what you are told to do. Yes. And now the obedience is to be fulfilled, or the obedience is towards God. Yes. How do you now get to do what God wants you to do yes. when you can't have access to God to tell you what He wants you to do? Those are things we need to look at. Those are things that we don't look at outside of this forum that we, that we have. Because we have established in our belief system that God cannot be seen. Yeah. That God cannot be seen. So how do you now fulfill obedience to a God you can't see? Because obedience now, as you have described it, is doing what that person Ask. wants or asks, asks you to do. Yeah. That's why we now talk about prayer. And we have we have talked about prayer in one of our in one of our in one of our, uh, Session. our sessions. You now see that it still follows because when you are describing obedience as waiting to be told what to do, it introduces something. Once the person is on ground to tell you what to do, yes. submission to that thing which you have been told to do. That's you comply with it. Yes. Then, if we talk about prayer, we describe what prayer is. That prayer is a lifestyle. Is 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 like. Basically, doing what you have been told to do. I don't know whether you yes. whether yes. follow yes. it. All it, the, it, 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 it connects. Yes. yes. All the the uh, the illustration you are trying to you are trying to bring out yeah. is still boils down to the person that has to. That is it. Still boils down to God that has to be on ground in order for any person can say we obey God because the obedience we are talking about is unto God. Yes. It's not onto the Bible. Yeah. You see, the things we are doing in this world is concerning, we, we have not seen the person we are we supposed to be obedient to, but rather we take the Bible to be the one that the person, maybe the person have already instructed us in for us to carry out those instructions. But when it comes to God, you see that it's not what you assume to do and call it obedience to God. If, if you even look at the instances in the Bible, uh, unlike a uh, first, uh, first uh, Samuel, uh, first Samuel 15, 22, that uh, he was uh, uh, told uh, by Paul, sorry, God told Paul that he should go and sacrifice, so, you so, kill Saul, so. so. he should go and kill all the... The fatted cow. He, no, 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 yes, the, 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 the people Amalek. of Amalek. Uh, Amalek. So that is an instruction yeah. that he was given by... God, God to, to so uh, so, to right so uh, yes he wants to go and do it to see what obedience is the person must be there and the person has to be the one to guide you as a person you go there to obey God that one was even ready to obey based on the instruction as he went you see that there was what he sees as a person as a man thinking that that's what is oh, going to please oh, God, please God yeah. by doing so you see that obedience is not something you, you can just get up and because God asks you, because you read in the Bible, this is what you should do. And you go to do a thing that you will be fulfilling obedience unto God. So obedience is something, is totally different from the way we operate. Because 
the way we do, the way we do our obedience is what we think should please God. Yes. It's not what God asks us to. Because when you finish doing obedience, you should go back to the person and say that I've done it or this is how I do it. The person will now look at it. This is not how I ask you to do it. I say, you know, in this our world, that is how it is. If you want to obey your parents, you cannot just he said, when you finish, do this one. You can finish doing that, and your parents come back and say, ah, ah. You don't this do it are, according, yes, according to, to, to how yes, you're actually said You were do trying it. to obey your parents. To see that the person has to be there in order to check, me to check that thing. Is it really the way I ask you to do? So obedience cannot be achieved without God himself. Looking at whatever he asks us to do, are we doing it according to his will, the way he wants it? It's not the way we, we assume or the way we think that he can please God. Because there's no man that can please God, rather than God himself. Asking, or asking us to do according to his will. He made a statement in, in that he made a, he made a statement in the earlier part of his video. He said that the day he decides to be obedient to God, that's the day he ends up acting out in the flesh the most. Even before that, said, there is a there is a beginning statement that he made. But I need to come from that what you just said. If you look at the instances of the soul by the picture painted, that's why those things are not exhibition that are already take place. Yeah. It's not any. You know, we've said it here based on everything that has been shown that there has never been a God in a generation. That that is why everything written. Uh, significance of things that are supposed to be applied in humans when God is available yeah. to work on us, which yeah. is what we are seeing today. Yeah. But if you follow that instances and you see that ah, uh, there is soul, there is God, and there is an instruction to soul, it means soul was waiting for God to give him instruction yes. before you go out. That's why that's why I brought that in because. If I put straight that obedience is waiting to be told, mm -hmm. and you just wait, and you are told, it's like that is obedience. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. That cannot just fulfill it. That's why it always goes together. You understand? Yes. That's why I say, if you look at the instances of Saul, let's say there was Saul and there was God, mm -hmm. and Saul is there for God to come and instruct him. What to do. This is what I want you to go and do. Yes. And now Saul has gone. Mm -hmm. But why couldn't he fulfill obedience? Because he would have fulfilled obedience by the instances of God, waiting for God to tell him what to do. Yes. So that is why it's, it's uh, you know, there is nothing that can be fulfilled without God. Yes. That is why from the video, the, the first statement that the man made is where I'm concerned. And the last statement that he made, the first statement said, he said, he come to a point when he begin to study his Bible. And when he studied the Bible, he realized that there are some certain things that he need to correct. You see? Mm -hmm. But this is a man that is from God, as one would say. He's coming from God. So it means... If you are coming from God to teach the people, you have already been corrected. So you are coming to show the people the way to correct themselves. Yes. That is where I said that that is the reason why I said that is where my concern is, because this goes to all of us in the world today. He has said the right according to the writing, ye hypocrite. He said, first remove the beam that is in your own eye. Before you go to your brother and say, Let me remove the moat that is in your own. That is to say. Before a man can get up to say, I want to talk to somebody about God, on how the person needs to change his character or change his uh, living, the way he lives, mm -hmm. that person must already be I'm living sure. that. So, listening to this kind of thing, and you now see, and you brought out an issue that the Jesus Christ that we are seeing, we are reading about, mm -hmm. he, he first he do. Before he now begin to teach. Now, why is our own opposite? You know, these are the concerns. That sea show us that he that had the bride is the bridegroom. And that is who we are supposed to be looking for. Because for me, it's not about explaining what obedience is, what obedience is not. First, 
for anybody to understand that. Right now in our world, what we need is to hang up whatever thing that we think we know and seek for the person by whom it was written about. Yes. That when he comes, is the one that will tell humanity what to do. Yes. Because before you can do something, somebody needs to tell you what to do. Yes. And that is a commander. So you cannot live in obedience or fulfill obedience or live in a command without a commander. Yes. So I'm saying this because as we are playing this video, that is what is going to buttress everything that is said, both from the first preacher and the second preacher. So I'm putting this out to whosoever that is listening. The first speaker and the second speaker. <laughs> uh, that is, if we call them preachers. That's why I said the first and the second. But the thing is that he also concluded and confirmed to all of us that preaching is not coming to talk to people. Yes. That shows you the work of the preacher. Because a preacher is the one who comes to prepare the people, bring the knowledge of the spirit, and make them function according to the practical side that will fulfill the obedience we are talking today. Yes. You see? So that makes us to understand from his statement that he is not a preacher. Yes. Even though not, I'm not saying said. this to him. I'm saying this to whosoever that is watching and those whom we also see as preachers. Because all of us fall in the same circle. We try to talk when we have not done the thing. Yeah. Because when you go into the... It's not just what obedience is. When you go into the things, what are the principles of the spirit? The God that we are supposed to follow. None of us in the world today is following it. None of us. No one. Except the person by whom we are now privileged to see. Which is the reason why we, we have the challenges that we, have, we are now putting to ourselves to say no. If there is a life that is like this. That means we need to follow it to see what we need to achieve or what the God has planned for us to achieve in due time. Yeah, but we can't, we can't, we can't, we talked about, we talked about following, following the um, principle or following command of, 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 of God yeah. and how nobody in the, in the world. world is following it. Yeah. Yeah. We can't follow it. Yes. Yeah. Because we don't know it. Yes. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the genesis of the problem. We don't know the principles. So the principles we don't know, we can't follow them. But somebody has to introduce the principle. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's talking about a preacher as, as being someone who already knows the and principle. is living the, that life, that that life yes. before he comes to show you or talk you into it. Not, not, just not talk, even talk not, you not into, talk into it. God, to like show you, to yeah. show you how to live it. Not, to not show you how to see, not, see, not, not, not talking to it. Not just talk, not just show. That is why he used that word. He said, it's not preaching. It's not talking. Yes. That shows you which is what we are trying to say. We have been saying that the one who have the capacity that is voice to you, whether you do what he said or you refuse to do, there must be a reward yes. that you receive. Yes. Because that is what the preaching does. When once the person voice out to you, that instruction that come out from his mouth, if you like, you hold it. If you like, don't hold it. He must do the work. You see, that's 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 the that's the angle I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting to because once once the person who has or who knows the principle is introduced, his work is to let those of us, all of us actually. Who don't know the principle but to be aware fitness, of yes. the principle yes. to be aware actually that there's a principle that we ought to follow that we don't know about yes that's the first thing that he has to do but he is the one coming with the principle so he basically already has it as a life yes. Yes. that he's coming to show us yes so we are we are waiting okay let me let me let me put it this way Everybody in the world, irrespective of religion, is in one way or the other expecting or waiting for God. Yeah. Messiah. Messiah. The Messiah, Messiah, whatever name most of us want to call it, yeah. yes. we are waiting for the coming of that Messiah. Yes. One way or the other, that's what everybody is waiting for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm? We are waiting for that. And the idea is that his appearance would 
spark a chain reaction of 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 of, of living of 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 change it, it it would it would introduce a level of change that nobody has ever seen before yeah. that is our hope for the introduction of that god that everybody is um, waiting for but his introduction is not to come and embrace our own ways but to introduce his own ways yes so obedience to god and we are saying he's waiting to be told what to do you now get to see that if you are waiting for god as everybody claims to be waiting for god to come yeah that means we know that he is coming to show or coming to introduce a new pattern so when he comes in, we are to do away with the things we are already doing. Yes. So that is the principle that surrounds waiting, in, as waiting as it relates to obedience. Mm. Because if you are waiting on something, whatever you find yourself doing as you are waiting for that thing to come, yeah. is subject to change yes. once that thing comes. Yes. One, that, one, one, the person one comes. The person yes. Comes. So once that person comes, that that person you are waiting for, once he comes, whatever you are doing as a means of sustenance till he comes is to be done away with. Yes. So that is where we are talking about obedience from. So you now get to see that it's actually transcendent because obedience waiting now for God to, for, for that's waiting to be told what to do. When you are told what to do, the next phase kicks in. You comply with what you have been told to do. Yeah. You submit to what you have been told to do. So, so in in essence, what you are saying that when the person comes, you have to show us this is his principles. Then, show us how we can follow his, his principles. principles. Yes. Because we don't know his ways. We don't know his his will. Yeah. Because you have to. Show, this is my will before we we can do his will. Yes. Because he can't do what you don't know. So that's that what you're what you saying in, in essence. Yes, because just as Sister Iti pointed out, you can you can actually wait and you are told what to do. Then when you go to do that thing which you have been told to do, you don't do it the way you have been told to do yeah. to do it. Mm -hmm. So you can't you can't you can't say that your obedience has been fulfilled. Has been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Because you need to not just doing it for doing sake. Like now you just like now you 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 you, you tell someone, hey. Go and clean up the kitchen, and he and he goes there and he does it um, haphazardly. Mm -hmm. For him, he has he has, he has he has cleaned up the kitchen, kitchen, but he didn't follow or he didn't meet up the standard that you require of him. Yeah. So you can say that his obedience was um, fulfilled. Yeah. So it now shows you that it's not just waiting to be told what to do, which was what Akufre was trying to point out from the beginning. It's not just waiting to be told what to do, but that's the primary thing. Because it's, it's, when you are, it's when you wait to be told what to do that you now get to know what to do. Yeah. Then what follows is how to do what you have been told to do. The you know, way you have been told there, to do there's, it. There's, there's that part that he said when he, when he mentioned, he said that every day as he wakes up and before he goes out, he will kneel down and pray to God. Yeah. To, make, to guide him and make sure he functions according to his way. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he goes out to function according to that his ways because... You don't need to go out to be able to function according to his ways. Yes, yes. Even where you are living, those, those things you are involving, you don't marry. You are married. Mm -hmm. uh, those activities of the it world, you train children in school. Mm -hmm. You put them into the system of men. You know, you buy yourself. All those things are the things that the obedience you are, if you are talking about obedience, is how to do a function according to the principle of the spirit. Yes. Those are the principles. So when you say you kneel down and you pray to him before you go out, what are you going to see, you know, as you are going? Yeah. So it means when you go out, the way you relate with people mm -hmm. is where you fulfill obedience. That is not it. That is why before you see somebody that sees that, oh, I see these are the things I'm supposed to obey and I can't obey them. You need to understand that what is in man is that spirit of sin. Yes. It's not about the things you do. I'm saying this based on the video. Yeah. It's not about the things you do because the things you do may look nice in the eyes of men. men. Yeah. But before God, they are all abomination. Yes. And we have been dwelling with that. Mm -hmm. What are these things that are abomination? What are these things that are iniquity? They are very nice. But like we have seen, there are all the activities that are, we are involved in in this world that is why when we are talking about the power 
to obey. The power to do is not with mouth. You know, we just said here, yeah, nobody obey God. Nobody can keep to the principle of the spirit mm -hmm. without the person. Now, how do you keep it? He said, for as many as I receive him, mm -hmm. to them gave he power to become the sons, to become of, God. The sons of God. Yes. You know, we've said it before. When we, are, when we read this thing, we think that the power is that one that will pull people who fall. No. What he's saying is that when the spirit is ready to come like, down, like we keep saying, in a generation to help humanity, he provides a vessel where he will dwell in. Now, it is that vessel that will come to voice out the, the ordinances. Let me put it that way, the ordinances, because there are many things. There are all the activities of man. There are all the activities of this world. So he will come to voice out to you. Now he said, as many as I receive him, because you cannot keep to those principles in this generation, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. So it is when that person is there and set that platform, which you keep saying before, there is a platform that will be set. Yes. Now, when you now listen to that person and from where he's voicing out from, those things are not normal things. It's just something that the spirit needs to remove the brain of man. You understand? So yes. it is that spirit that the person come with that give you the enablement to be able to keep to the principle of that, that your creator. Yes. It's not the, that is the power. Yes. Because the power you don't have is the reason that when you see that, oh, these are what are supposed to do good. You, you go back, you, you go do wrong. Mm -hmm. Paul said it. You see that it, every time he see what good to do, yes. he see himself do bad. Why? Because yeah. of sin. That dwelleth in him. It's not the sin that he's doing. Oh, sin is already dwelling in us. That's why you can't. You do understand? That, that, that is why you can't do it. So the person voice that the sin obeys and can flee from is the person to whom the Lord has chosen as the chosen one. Yeah. Because there is a there is a mystery of the spirit that is bedded in him. That's why. That's and, and, and you can tie that to to I think is um, James. Say, submit yourself, therefore, unto God, yeah. and the devil will flee from you. Yes. That's, that, it follows after, it follows after obedience, because you are talking about, because he's talking about every day he wants to go out, mm -hmm. and he, he deliberately wants to obey God. Mm -hmm. And obeying God, as we know, is to do and live the way God wants us to, to live, yeah. wants us to do. Yeah. All those things, that's what, that's what um, obedience to God yes. signifies. Yes. So every day he wants to obey God. But when he steps out, according to what he said, that that day is the day he even he, worse. He ends up he ends up living in the flesh the most. And he comes back and he and, and, and he and he's apologizing. He's praying. He says, Ah, God, sorry, oh, I messed up. He messed up. That's because we have been instructed that we should submit ourselves to God then the devil will flee from you. Mm -hmm. So how do you now get to submit yourself to God when there is no God? Mm -hmm. that, is, that is the that basis is the, of everything. That is, the, that, that is the basis of everything that we are talking here because you see this thing that the man said, what that same many judgment is in everybody. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that he tried to be sincere. You understand? Yes. He's trying to be sincere, which is good. Yes. But that sincerity is to show you that you don't suppose to stand at the pulpit and be talking to people about God. That is going to everybody. Yes. But, you know, like we keep saying, you cannot, you cannot carry out a work that you were not given to. Yeah. You can't. It's not that you will not. You will carry it, but you cannot do it. That is why, if you watch the way things are going today, and I said the last time, if we were a good listeners, but how do you listen when you are the one reading Bible? Mm -hmm. You can't listen. That is why you only listen when the person to whom it is given come to voice out to all of us. It is said that we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, is come. that which is in part shall be done away. That is what it is written on. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that we know that we know in part. We but we are still holding the one that we know in part as the superiority thing. Look, this is the biggest challenge. And 
our world have to be ready to drop what we think we know. The biggest challenge is that presently now the spirit of the Lord who brought us into this world has made the man who says he's coming from God to believe that everything he is doing now in the name of God is correct. Mm -hmm. And he is not the one to judge himself. But you as a man of God, you believe that everything you are doing Every standard you pass across to the people is correct. You believe that that standard is coming from God. And at the same time, you are not the one to judge yourself. So the God which you believe that the standard is coming from, that God you cannot see. So if the person of God that the whole world is waiting for, the Messiah, you have to know that his principle cannot be in accordance with your own. Because we are men. You are a man. So the person of God must come with his own principle. And that will cancel your own. Meaning that whatever you are doing now, the spirit allowed you to do it. Not because it is perfect. Not because what you are teaching will give the people an eternal life. What I would like us to, to bring in, mm -hmm. maybe it may not be in this session, because when we keep talking about the principle of God will come with that person, that person will bring it. You know, we never point anyone, sit down to point anyone, because when we start to point those things, out there, many of us there will know that, oh, this thing, we are not really in the right path. I'm only saying this because it's necessary, but we are not going to do that right now. But what I said before is that if truly we are sincere, we need to understand that if we know in part and we prophesy in part, and he said that when that which is perfect is come, mm -hmm. that which is in part shall be done away, which is what brother said your concord now. You're supposed to should have it, that we're supposed to have it in our heart, knowing that, oh, when the person to whom it is given showed up, mm -hmm. we need to hang up. But exactly. the question is, do we really agree that there is somebody that is given because we still assume that we are the one giving. When you read the Bible, because it is necessary for somebody to understand that everything we are talking here is the thing that the Spirit has come to reveal in that person. And they are connecting to the same thing that they are reading there. And even more deeper than it, with the capacity and the change that it comes with. We see it. So, when we read in that John 16, 13, I would like us to read that because it's very important so that whosoever watching should know. John chapter 16, verses 13. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. It's okay. I brought this in. Before we continue the video, I brought this in, and I'm going to bring out one more. He said, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come? He shall guide you into all truth. He said, he will guide you into all truth. This show you that he's somebody. Yes. But he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that he will tell you, and he will show you things to come. How do you get that done? He didn't say, you will read the Bible. To get all truth. He didn't say so. The Bible instructed that it is somebody that will come with the spirit of truth. Because the spirit of truth cannot function in an empty air. Yes. Somebody needs to carry it. Yes. And that person is the one that is qualified as the spiritual one to judge all things. That is correct the way humanity has been living. That is the person that is given to. And the, this thing you are saying now, based on what the, the, the Bible portion you just read, concerning the spirit of truth that has to come to show us the things that sh should be. You know, we, we read it in the Bible as, you know, the Bible already recorded that is how the person will be, which is a person say is the, is the way, the truth, and the life. So how do we now take it in this, our generation, that the, the spirit the spirit is something you cannot see. That spirit of truth is, is becoming an empty space. Yeah. 
because the, even in the letter, it's written there that he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Why, why is it that in this, our generation, that's where we, we, our mentality now tends to change the, the, the pattern, the standard of the spirit that there will be nobody. So anybody can get up and say things concerning the Bible. Meanwhile, the emphasis there is, is showing us that there must be somebody. How do you differentiate the time that the spirit of truth comes as a man if you cannot see? Because you are, our, our mentality, because we think that any time we feel like you go to stay in a, a quiet place, you imagine things. That's when the spirit of truth comes. And that, that's that when is, that is why That is why it keeps instructing us to cast down our imagination. That's because man dwells with imagination. Why I brought this in is because these things are written in the Bible. They are there. They are from beginning... From Genesis to Revelation, every part of the Bible you read show you that God will come or will send somebody to come to the rescue of humanity. Yes. That's what it is. But even this, as we keep following the men that we believe that pastors, preachers, is because our instinct shows us that there must be that spirit in somebody. But whosoever have that spirit, that's why I, I, I quoted it before, that he that had the bride, is the bridegroom that is the person we need to go to you understand and in romans 10 because he knows that the spirit knows that we have a seal which is why you know we can build denomination you know build the congregation you know build the whatever thing it is that we build to gather people because we want to worship god you want to worship god but he said that the knowledge we have is not according to the knowledge of that okay. truth. But when once you are ignorant of that knowledge of God, you go yeah. about establishing your own righteousness and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. But, you see, I quote it though, but when you read it, the way he put it, you will understand why we are to be removed from that grace. All this grace of God, this and that, to that standard of the truth. And that standard of the truth is practical. It's practical. Yeah. And so to summarize this, as to summarize all we have been saying based on this first video we just, we just watched, I would like to pinpoint the last two things he said to buttress what he just um, said. He said, um, God will not back what you are teaching if you are not obedient to him. And he also said, as a teacher, hmm? he said that as a teacher, that your teaching or your life actually should reflect what you're teaching. What you're your, teaching. Your teaching. Yes. And if you follow all we have been talking about, especially this last part that Brother Kufre introduced, you will get to see that as men, their spirit of God can never back anything you do. Because we have already been instructed not to call no man master. So when you put yourself in a position to be a master to others, you, he, can't, he can't back you, first and foremost, because you have gone against his principle of being a master yeah. or calling somebody a master, which is not lip service, but as Barakufer will always um, illustrate, it's your submission to man to in build you. of God. And when, when you use the word backing, you know, do, those statements, they don't know how you apply. Before somebody can back you. See, we are container. We are empty. It is when the spirit come into you. Now the spirit now take you to walk. That's why you said, call no man your master. Mm -hmm. So it means accept Christ. It means before a man can stand to teach people, that Christ must be inside of him. Yes. So he is the one that back you up. He does the backing. So it's, it's not like you go and teach, then they will go and back it up. Because he's supposed to be the one teaching, it's the one which, is, the work. which is where the second part of the statement now comes in. Because he's now saying that the, he, as, as a teacher or as a master, that your life should reflect that thing that you're teaching or you're telling the people. And just as we have always said, that you can't have that principle, you can't have that way, that life of God, when you are not God. So basically, 
God who is coming to show us that way definitely has that life. Yeah. So that's why it's impossible for us as men to go around thinking we can teach or we can talk people into the way of God. Of God. Oh, God. It's highly impossible. And it's not going to be the way we used to do. God will <coughs> not save us for us to go and save others. It doesn't work like that. That is why man cannot do the work of God. It is only God himself that, does his that work. can do his work. That's why it's that, that's why he yes, it is only God that can work save. Of God, yes. No other person can save. So when you go out there, are you are telling others about what God has done for you so that they will go to God for him to do that for them. And most times you won't have to even say it. I've, I, I, I mentioned it to I mentioned it to 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 an old friend of mine. He's an old friend now. And I mentioned it to an old friend of mine. He said that Dave, this um, this one you're doing now is preaching. As in you're 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 you're, you're trying to tell me about what you are involved in or or the last Basically, that's what he said. And I said, listen, I'm not preaching. And when I said I'm not preaching, that's because of what I understand preaching to be as against what he knows preaching to, to be. be. So I said, I'm not preaching to you. Hmm? I've just told, I'm just like letting you know what I'm involved in now. Whether you agree with it or not, by the time I keep to it the way I'm supposed to, and you see how I turn out, you won't, you, you won't need me to say anything to you. You would, you would, you would go as you, you, you would chase after that thing that made my, 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 my life or my living turn out the way you saw it. Mm, uh, uh, you know, all these things, uh, that's why sometimes, uh, where you talked about principle, you talked about commandment. The commandment is for the priest. It's not even for the people. The command, that's what the Bible have recorded. He said, ye, oh ye priest, these commandments are for you. Because it is what's supposed to be established and built in the person. That you know when fruits. you when you read when you read about the when you read the Jeremiah twenty three mm -hmm. when it talks where it talks about I have not sent, have not sent this prophet yet yet the run. Run. If you go down when it said they say still to them that despise me thou shalt have peace Please. it shall be well which is what is going on today it shall be well it shall be well with you I prophesy to you. Why the people are see going trans transgressing against the, the principle of the, the spirit and you are proclaiming to them that oh, they, they will have peace. How will you have peace when, when you are not following the command of God? That is why they are now seeing it that the only way it can work is obedience. You understand? Yes. Because if you read that, you see when he said, if they have stood under my counseling. They would have at my word abided in them. But now he's telling you they have not stood under the counseling. So they went on, tried to do the work that I have not sent them. You see? But this you can't blame anybody. That's how we you know we've said before that many of us, many of the pe people you see there, they are sincere. They try to see how to serve people, how to serve situation. But you can't serve situation where you have not been given the capacity to do that. That is why that waiting is needed. Because when you see that word, when you talk about obedience as waiting, it's one of the greatest key for a man. Tarry ye here in the city of Jerusalem and wait. You know, the, the hardest word for a man to do is sit down one place and do nothing. That's the hardest word so far. And that is the only way a man can fulfill That's life. That's the only way he can fulfill life. When he says he should sit down here and do nothing, that if that's the hardest work. You know, somebody asked me, you are, are you sure you are not a lazy man? I say, what do you mean by lazy man? He said, yeah, you know, you don't do anything. You know, I say, you see, that is who you call a lazy man. But I can tell you the lazy man that God sees is a great hunter. Mm -hmm. He hunts for, for, for stomach. He doesn't hunt for life. That is a great hunter, a lazy man. How do you define a lazy man? God said, sit down, tarry here, and wait until I come. Like you said, in the waiting, it doesn't mean that you are not doing anything. You do what but you have whatever to. thing you have to do that time, you need to know that you are waiting upon the Lord. You see? And now, if you take that statement to where we call an idle man, 
is a devil workshop. You know, we use that word. It means somebody who doesn't do anything. So devil can use him, you know, he can carry gun to go and rob people. That is not what he's saying. What he's saying is that everything you are doing that cannot bring that presence of the spirit to you is idle. Yes. So that is what gain make the, the spirit of the evil spirit gain access to you because you have not abide with the command of God. Yes. So you may be doing a lot, but you are idle. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why you put yes, that for that, 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 that is what it that's is. That's it what is. you should do to occupy what should occupy yes. is what you are not doing. Yes. yes. So, so that gives room to, for the devil to, to yes. make your heart as his work. Because that heart can never be empty. You Something can. must occupy it. Yeah, so that, that is what everyone needs to understand. Because most of the time we make this statement, someone, uh, you are an idol, you are a lazy man. And all of us, we are devil's worship. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to remove myself. It's just that the, 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 the way it came out, all of us are devil's workshop. Uh, you can't be like, brother, we think you have to You can't be like, say, we're a No, but that's how it is. That's yes. why I said that we should submit ourselves to God. Yeah. Yes. Then the devil will flee. Yes. For the devil to flee, it means he's there already. Yes. yes. So it's your submission to God that will kick him out of the house. Is that devil that makes him when he pray finish? Prayer and on, talking. Go on, press. How do you go talk? On, how do you talk to the spirit? <laughs> the one who do the talking to a people is that person by whom the spirit has ordained. Mm -hmm. He alone has what to say. The duty of the people is to do. Listen. Listen and do. And Look. that and that completely contradicts what he said about studying the Bible. Going to a very quiet place and studying the Bible. What are you studying? You are studying letters. This book, they are letters. Yes. They are not words. Words will forever be spoken. So the word of God will be spoken from the mouth of God, from the person of God. He is the only one to speak the word of God to you. And when you keep it, you see the change that will come to you. So when you go and study the Bible and you assume that what you are studying is the word of God, can let us be words. You know what? Let's hit play so we can hear what the second, the second, the second speaker, yeah. no, no, no call and preacher. Let's hear what the second speaker has to, has to say. On mm. um, obedience, so we can we can basically uh, round up what we have for our viewers today. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, please give us from verse one and two. I like us to read it together. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, when it's projected and we can see it, let's read together. Deuteronomy twenty-eight, one and two. Ready? Please let's read. And it shall come to pass, aha, uh -huh, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe and to do. Take notes. To observe and to do. All which I command you this day. Uh -huh, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above. Verse 2. And all these blessings. How many blessings? How many blessings? And all these blessings shall what? It comes on you because it comes from above and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Say obedience. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. When Moses died and the mandate was now transferred to Joshua, he was afraid because the people were a stiff-necked people. They were stubborn people. How would he lead such people? And a revelation was given to him. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, this is the formula Joshua for your success. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth. Please pay attention. God is about to bless someone. It says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Don't stop there. We stop there usually. It says that thou mightest observe to do. Someone say observe to do. Observe to do all that is written therein. For in doing it, you will make your way prosperous. And you will have a kind of success that the Bible calls good success. There is success, but there is good success. 
when the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and prospers and adds no sorrow, it is called good success. The kind of success where you are up today and down tomorrow is not good success. Obedience. Obedience to what? Obedience to the voice of God. Obedience to the instructions that connect to the blessings you desire. I told you that every dimension of God that we seek in this kingdom is conditional. And there are principles and instructions that are connected. Please listen. Please listen. You have to get this. Principles and instructions. Say after me please. Principles and instructions. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said come. And instruction. And he got up and walked on water. When they met him and said, Sir, the feast, the wedding in the Cana of Galilee, in John chapter 2, the wine is finished. And there's, there's, there's about to be a major embarrassment in this feast. And he said, fill six pots with water. And when he filled six pots with water, he said, now you go and serve the Lord. That's a risk. If those guys got there and the rulers took and... <laughs> If they fetched that water and it was water in their mouth, they would have killed those people. But at the instance of his word, they went. Obedience is very powerful. I learned this as a principle. If you learn to obey God, if you learn to obey the word, your life will become and remain a living wonder. Believe me when I tell you this. I desire to walk in superior dimensions of grace and the anointing. I desired it sincerely. And I knew that it was in prophecy for me to walk in these dimensions. But I knew that just hoping and wishing, I would only waste my time and waste the time of a generation. And I began to search. What are the principles that govern the manifestation of the power of God in a man's life? genuine authentic spiritual power and I began to find them I began to find them and I said Lord grant me the grace it may not be easy but I, I obtained the grace and goodness I am grateful for that obedience because you see many people wait to eat from your obedience obedience is powerful the benefits go beyond you God can give you an instruction and say for the remaining part of this year every day you must pray for the man of God and his wife it's an instruction oh Lord but I'm already a prayer warrior that's not it an instruction now came from heaven God can give you an instruction and say every month from that which you have ensure that you sow into the man of God and his wife you say Lord I've been doing it he says no you did that one as a gift from your heart this one is an instruction connected to the next level of your life Believe what I'm telling you. You are not being taught cunningly devised fables. Instructions. And then principles. Principles. Obedience is powerful. It is the game changer between people who become talkatives and those who become proof producers. Principles. I know that God is able to lift. I know that God is able to change. I know that God is able to turn a man's life around. But just believing that he would do it will not solve the problem. Lord, what is the principle? He says, good master, what must I do to be saved? That's a rich man because he knows there is, there is responsibility connected to everything. What must I do to be saved? What is my own path? What is your own part? What is our own part? That's basically the 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 the, the fullness of of um, obedience. Because after getting to know what you have to do, you get to do what you have to do. Because we are talking about obedience as waiting to be told what to do. So when you now get to be told what to do, you have your own part to play. 
which is doing what you have been told to do. Okay. How you have been told to so do. do it. So that's your own part you get to play. But that's by the side. Though it's very important, but there were there were there were certain certain things he he said that it makes you wonder sometimes. He he started off his um his own talk on on obedience from reading from um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight mm-hmm. from one and one, two. one and two. Let me breeze let me breeze through it. it. Says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee for thou shalt if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of of the Lord thy God. God. If you remember the our episode on um on uh, I think is um on who God is. Yes. We try to clear up the misconception. I think it's was it who God is when the when um okay no that was okay no that's the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit but we try to clear up that the Lord is the spirit as the overall spirit the yeah. spirit that 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 introduced man yeah. that's us yeah. and the spirit that would introduce, introduce god. god yeah to be the the the, the, the that's his um his figurehead mm-hmm. in the midst of men of men yes that's who we described yes. the lord and god to be yes now when you see the lord it's that spirit in absentia of god, the body yes. but when you see the lord thy god that's the time of fulfillment when that word and that's God Each has God. merged together. together to bring about that person God. of God. God. So when we are seeing or when we are reading or when we are hearing the Lord thy God, mm-hmm. he's just referring to God himself, himself in a physical body or in a bodily form. Mm-hmm. So when he was reading from Deuteronomy chapter 28, it just shows you the picture of that original concept of yes. obedience yeah. because said that and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god, god. Mm-hmm. that is that is that is the, the 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 primary the primary thing that we need to do yes. to hear to listen to follow after the voice the things that that person of god has to say has to tell us to do yeah. has 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 to say to us that's the that's the basis of 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 of, of everything said to observe and to do all his commandments which i command thee this day that the lord thy god will set thee on high above all nations of the earth so it now shows you what follows after your obedience in god is fulfilled yes. fully fulfilled which is what the thing you know we talked about what blessing is that the blessing is not material, material things but god being with, with us as a people god yeah. being with you as an individual yes so it shows you that once you keep to the instructions once you keep to his to his ordinances that spirit of christ will get to yeah. resurrect in you that is what the blessing of God is. And once you have Christ resurrected in you, definitely you become high. Yes. And to, <laughs> add to add to what you just said, based on the Bible portion you read concerning yeah. the, how to hearken on to the voice of the Lord thy God and to do all that he commanded yeah. one or everyone to do. Yeah. To see that that is what is written as a letter to show you that somebody has to be that will carry the voice, which is the same thing you are still saying. Yes. To lay down the emphasis that this Bible we carry and see that the commandment of God is in the Bible. It cannot be achieved. Because the voice of somebody, the voice of God, must be spoken from God himself. It can't be achieved. That's why, that why even in the reading, you can see the way he put it at the end of part of it. Which I command you this day. So the day, when that day is fulfilled, 
this day is fulfilled. The day becomes the day when the Spirit has chosen to bring that light in that person. Yes. That is where the command begins from because that person now is the one that will command. That we have been saying it here, that is the voice of the Lord. Because seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You can't get the Lord being the Spirit until he provides a vessel that he will dwell in. So it is when that is done in a generation that the person now becomes a commander to command the people. You get, it's not, there's not how you read it, but those are the problems we have. That's why I said from the beginning, if you listen to the first person, he talks about what he's studying in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And even this one is the same thing he said when he talks about study to show thyself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. So we think that, and he said that it doesn't just stop there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just stop by uh, meditating on the, this thing, because for us to meditate, it means we read the Bible. That's what we call meditation to be, but that is not what it is. But even that what it is, even that is what it is, as he's mentioned, he said it doesn't stop there. Mm -hmm. It means you need to do, to observe, and to observe and to do. But how do you observe and how do you do? Mm -hmm. Because you need to observe when the life of the person that carried their life is there yes. to yes. instruct you based on the life he has come with. So you are observed, it's what we have been experiencing. Yes. He observes most of the things for you because you don't have an insight to see into the things of the Spirit. So he, he does the observation. Your own is to do. Yes. So these things are not, it's not just reading. No matter how somebody read it, in fulfillment, the path of God begins when the time of the Spirit has come. And this is the time of the Spirit. The time of the Spirit is what we have been saying this is the time of the Spirit yes. when he has chosen to fulfill everything that was written. Mm -hmm. And everything that was written must be fulfilled in the person that we keep talking about. Yes. So to, to cut down the discussion, but you see, for his own, what you obey is the Bible that he carry. Because he does that. When he was talking about how you should obey God, how you should obey God. so he carried the Bible. So it means when you obey the God, is from the Bible. Bible. But that is not what the Bible keeps. We have said it there now. There is no need talking about that. That it is the voice of the person to whom it is given that the people need to listen to. Yes. Just like you have millions of people coming to listen to you when you are not the right person. Because if that's the case, everybody will be reading the Bible. Now. Not only, nobody, no, to be, nobody will come, will to, come you to you now. Yes. And that's why he put there that if any man keep my saying, so there must be somebody that will stand to tell you what to do. That is even why he said the mouth of the Lord, because it must be coming from the mouth. He didn't tell you about what is written. He talks about what must come from the mouth of the Lord. He gave yes. an instance about um, Christ, according to the writing, about Christ and um, Peter, when he gave the instruction. Mm -hmm. He said that, he said that just, he said, say, is he, he said, is he, um, if say, it is you, yeah, if it's you, bid me come. Bid me to come to you. Mm -hmm. And he gave, his, he gave an instruction. He made that emphasis. The instruction was given. Mm -hmm. And what happened? He said Peter walked on water. His emphasis is instruction. And somebody needed to be there to give him the instruction. And which is the emphasis of everything we are talking about. And, and again, if you, if you listen to them, listen to them. Their own instruction, see boils down to the things that they are looking for power for. To yes. get from you. Yes. The power they are looking for. Mm -hmm. I've said it here before. The instruction is in the activities that you are carrying out every day in this world. That is where the instruction that the God will give you come from. Yes. To make you go out of those activities. But if you listen, our own instruction is, if you are the one, walk on the water so that the people will see that you have power. Yes. That is what it is. Mm. So because we, we desire power. But the power is the one that will make you to obey the simple instruction that tells you, don't do the things of the world. Mm -hmm. That is power to be able to live in this world, not to exercise the activities of this world. That's because this is that's why the one of the women. That is what we are going to be bringing out. And he went on to say something. He said, when he come to realize in this obedience of a thing. So for him now, he you know because that power must come. So he make sure he press into obedience. To have good success. Eh? To have the power. And now he's satisfied. This is the same person that talks about how the devil come to press him. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? Yes. So I don't know which of the power you have. Because you have power, but the devil is coming to press you. With Your power mercy. and the devil of the devil power, which one's supposed to surpass it? But you see, these are these are imagination. Mm -hmm. These are imaginary things. But those things doesn't really it doesn't really count. So I don't want to go into that. But I'm saying that because of people watching to understand that no man has power. Power belongs to God. Yes. All power. All power. Power belongs to God. No yes. man. He said there is no anyone. power that except that of God. Yes. Yes. You understand? All so power. if there is anybody that has power, you see the problem humanity are facing today, we will not be having now. Not so destructive power that man has. I don't know what the what we see as power because sometimes you know when you are in the denomination, you are vibrating. Some people are shouting the outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, therefore he said, hold that, hold them. Well, go and assist those that are under anointing. Yeah, I don't know because what that, our anointing that, does. That is what you desire. He say, I desire so much to walk in the anointing. Mm -hmm. I desire. Forgetting that there are two principles. Mm -hmm. One, the, 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 if a man desire to be great, mm -hmm. it is your desire. It is not what God wants for you. And then there is another principle. If a, a man will be, if it is given to that person, there is a will that there is a will, there is yes. a principle, there is a process to follow yes. for that greatness to come, not desire. from your desire. Mm -hmm. Looking at the master, if it is the bid me come, mm -hmm. just like exactly. you said, I you, I, will, I want to walk on water. Doesn't he know the master according to the picture painted there? Yes. He has been working with this person for more than two years, according to the story. Mm -hmm. So didn't you know your master when you see him? I'm following this. I'm following this. This this line just introduced as 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 desire. That's this line that you're that you're doing. If you, if you follow the story, or if you follow, if you follow the account. After he he bid him to to come and he was walking on the water, you could see how he ended. Mm -hmm. You he see, began, he began to sing, sing. <laughs> because of his desire. Because the master, the master knows that it is him. So if you are following after the master, you should know him. So someone you are being so with. So something is behind that thing. If he's yeah. the bid maker, then well, come come, because it is me. So what happened that you are thinking? Another thing because that, of desire. Another thing that he said which is one of the, we are going to make it as a topic. You know, the mystery of this turn water to wine that he mentioned. Mm -hmm. Those things try to skip my head, but he mentioned it. Yes. So, you see, those are the way he see instruction. Yeah. You understand? People came to instruct yeah. us what to do. Because instruction is that the miracle, that he just performed miracle. Do, mm -hmm. How do you see instruction in the miracle he performed? You see? But you are talking about, he said, if those people know, do, tested that wine and that wine. No, he said the water. The water that, that water wasn't really wine. Uh -huh. That they would have killed those ones that served them. You understand? Yeah. You see, that is what is going on now. That statement, I will define it this way. You know, the water that is made wine mm -hmm. is the people. Yes. Water is the people. Yes. The significance of water are the people. Yes. But right now, in the world, we are water. We have not been made wine yet. Old wine. You understand? Mm. We are, or maybe we are an old wine. Yes. That is why we need a new wine. Mm. Now, if the people following you really understand that the wine you are eh, is not the original one, they won't follow you. That's the many judgment. That's what it is. Yes. They will not. They will stone you. And they are going to do that soon because when God comes to reveal his path in the world, many of us will be angry okay. when we come to see what we have spent on this man of God. Eh? On the men we believe that they are men of God. But we keep saying here, you can't blame anybody because the fact will come first before the before original. The original. Yes. That is the concept of the spirit. Yes. But in the concept of men, in the idea of men, mm -hmm. is the is original. The, that, uh, the, is the original come first yes. before fake. But in God, the fake. the fake come before original. Yes. Remember, the fake is the man, mm -hmm. and the original it's is God. God. Yes. So if we are bear the, the image the, of the, the image, image of the heavenly, yeah. which is the the man state, yes, ye shall also 
bear the image, image of the heavenly, yes. which is the state of God. Yes. Yeah. You see, these things are. How do you walk them out? I just I don't talk up. Yeah, how does he walk? They are practical. He walk according to the practical. When the spirit come to begin the work from that one, that he will then and predestined to become the firstborn. You the see, first, the, first the part of God has a program. It has a, a sequence, process. the way it follows it. God come from himself in a person. From there, duplicate himself in the people as sons. Before he can go into the world, you have the beginning, which is Matthew. You have the Mark, Mark, the Mark, the Mark ones. ones. And you have the lukewarms. Look because when the Spirit comes to choose a vessel for the work, tax him, he has those whom he also called for the preparation. The That's why I said the, the gift and the calling of God are oh, without, without repentance. repentance. So he's bringing people to prepare them. It's not that they, they, can, they don't repent. They, he just brought them to now start a work on them before they look warm, because what the Spirit has given to you, the, the seal he has given to you, he may not have given to another person. So you do what will cover the next person. Yes. That is how the program works. So, but if you follow this program now, how do you do it when you go to build denomination, concrete, what you call church? That's why the part of God is not that. It's just that the person will come and set a standard that when you buy that, it's seen, you are covered wherever you are, because his network follows you. That is what it is. Yeah. So I just, I want anybody listening to us to understand that we are not, the things we are trying to point, even though we are not even going to the depth of the things that they are saying, because we try not to point the finger at somebody. Having come to understand that the way we have been functioning and the way we are keep functioning in the world is coming from that spirit of man. Yeah. And that is the old wine. Yeah. It is now time to go the ways of God, which we must, whether we like it Honest. or not. But remember, there's something he said. As it were in the days of Noah, mm -hmm. so shall it be in the days, in the of, days of the Son of Man. Example. What were they doing? They were buying He's stuff. talking to them. This thing, this is not the activities that you're supposed to carry out. They are busy buying. They are busy selling. Building. This is not the activities that you're supposed to They are busy marrying. They are busy giving out in marriage, marriage. because they claim ownership toward the children. This is not what you are supposed to do. They are busy building, claiming land as their own. But in our acts, he said, for all seek their own. Who among you seek the things that are Jesus Christ? It shows you that the things that has to do with that Jesus Christ does not belong to anybody. That's why he said, do not labor for yourselves. Do not lay treasure for yourselves upon the earth. But is that the path that we have been following? The answer is no. Nobody. So that's why we say nobody is following God. Because you cannot follow a God that you have not seen. Exactly. You can only follow God when God is there in your midst. You follow, just as we claim that there was Jesus, and he set that standard, and Peter will follow, say, Peter, come, follow me. Peter, follow him. Just as we are following Apostle Joshua said, man, in the church. That is how God will come. And all of us will leave the church and, and follow, follow God. Yes. That is how it is. All. If things must work the way it need to work. That's, so I, everybody should be aware of that. It's very important. That's 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 the that's the that's the truth of the whole of the whole matter. Because just as we keep on saying, if you want to talk and talk and if that's if you want to exhaust what we have to to say, man. I don't, I don't think we would ever get off from this place. Because let, let, let me bring something in before you close up. Because, you know, we talked about obedience today. Yes. We have not talked about disobedience. Mm -hmm. We have not talked about that. Okay. It's obedience that we talked about. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to talk about disobedience. So somebody should be aware that if we say that obedience is waiting for God or waiting to be told by God, not just waiting to be told by God what to do, and you now went on and do the way he wants you to do. Yes. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. So that is the same way this, we are described as the children of disobedience because we refuse to wait for God to come and show us what to do. We assume for God. Now, when he has to do with God, when God now comes to show us what to do and we refuse to do it, that is when he now counted as stubbornness. Yes. Witchcraft. Because 
the one that has been following us as the spirit of that man that will bewitch us is still following us. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that will make you not to obey the part of God. So that somebody needs to do is understand so that when we are bringing this part, God will bring it to disobedience mm -hmm. for somebody to understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so as I was saying, I said that's the that's the, the truth of the whole matter. Because if we if we want to exhaust all we have to to say about this issue, you have just pointed out the uh, disobedience. Mm -hmm. We can sit down here and talk and I don't think we'll ever get off from this place. Because we ourselves are still involved in the learning process. Yeah. So every day there are new things that spring up that we get to to learn, we get to realize, we get to see our shortcomings. Even as we have come to realize or we have come to encounter this person that is of God, which is why obedience is something that needs to be fulfilled. As, as your obedience needs to be complete, needs to be needs to be full, intact. Because when we see the shortcomings we ourselves have, even in the advent of this person, you get to see that our, our, our obedience is not is not complete. Because mm -hmm. when Akufa just talked about disobedience. He ain't how it transcends to, to stubbornness. Mm -hmm. That's the same way obedience as well transcends to submission. So you can't be submitted to God when there are still lapses here and there in the things you do because it shows that our obedience to him, that's in terms of doing what we have been told to do, has not Beautiful. been fulfilled. Or hasn't been carried out fully. So basically, what we are saying is that obedience to God cannot cannot be achieved when there is no God. Exactly. In person. And the only way you can have God is not in the sky, but as a person in our midst. Yeah. And we have also said that everybody will not get to see God. Yeah. No matter how much we talk about God is somebody you have to hear from, you have to hear from. Everybody will not get to see God. Everybody will not get to hear from him directly. But just as we said, his appearance marks the beginning of change. So definitely he establishes a platform, just as we keep on saying, everybody that will everybody will have to function under, function by. So you might not get to see him, you might not get to hear from him, but everybody will get to follow his laid down pattern, principles. his laid down principles, his laid down instruction. Everybody will get to follow that. And that's the only way we can fulfill obedience to God. But we need to understand that God is not in the sky, that God is a person that we definitely need to have presence in our midst exactly. for the work of redemption to begin. So on that note, I would say we have come to the end of today's uh, episode. And as usual, if you have inquiries to make based on what we have just discussed or based on our previous um, episodes, feel free to send us an email via the addresses on your screen and we'll be sure to get back to you. So for now, we say bye till we come your way next time.